November 30th, Ursula von der Leyen, the head of the European Commission, addressed the plan to confiscate frozen Russian assets and the creation of a special tribunal to punish Russia for the crime of aggression against Ukraine. The text and video of the address has been published on the website of the European Commission and on von der Leyen's social media accounts. Ukraine lost more than 100,000 servicemen, said the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, and her words about over 20,000 civilians killed in Ukraine and over 100,000 military personnel caused astonishment. This statement, Ukraine has allegedly lost in an estimated 100,000 military and 20,000 civilians in the war against Russia, has been removed from the address of the head of the European Commission just several hours after publishing. We are talking about victims, both killed and wounded, Commission spokesperson Dana Spinat specified on Twitter. Here is the full version of Ursula von der Leyen's statement. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has brought death devastation and unspeakable suffering. We all remember the horrors of Butcha. It is estimated that more than 20,000 civilians and more than 100,000 Ukrainian military officers have been killed so far. Russia must pay for its horrific crimes, including for its crime of aggression against a sovereign state. And this is why while continuing to support the International Criminal Court, we are proposing to set up a specialized court backed by the United Nations to investigate and prosecute Russia's crime of aggression. We are ready to start working with the international community to get the broadest international support possible for this specialized court. Russia must also pay financially for the devastation that it caused. The damage suffered by Ukraine is estimated at 600 billion euros. Russia and its oligarchs have to compensate Ukraine for the damage and cover the costs for rebuilding the country. And we have the means to make Russia pay. We have blocked 300 billion euros of the Russian central bank reserves and we have frozen 19 billion euros of Russian oligarchs' money. In the short term, we could create with our partners a structure to manage these funds and invest them. We would then use the proceeds for Ukraine. And once the sanctions are lifted, these funds should be used so that Russia pays full compensation for the damages caused to Ukraine. We will work on an international agreement with our partners to make this possible. And together we can find legal ways to get to it. Russia's horrific crimes will not go unpunished.